Hello and welcome, my beautiful bulls, my Taurus. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of December the 11th to the 17th. Keep in mind, this is a general. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Now let's see what we have. Starting off with your download message from your guides, you've been given Be Flexible. This might be a week where there could be some changes uh, to your plans where you're going to have to sit back and say, okay, I need to maneuver uh, around this detour and this change. Be flexible, be open-minded. Don't allow yourself to get uptight about this. This is about going with the flow this week, being amicable, mutable, and being able to do this in a calm and and, you know, and, and, and a, in a calm and precise way. Um, being flexible means that you're not going to fight the status quo. You're going to go with the flow. I'm also hearing with this card that you're going to be listening. Uh, if you're involved in any deep and uh, heavy set conversations with somebody, communication and debates, you're going to be actually sitting back and listening, listening to what they have to say so that it's easier for you to understand their side of the story. Okay, your first energy card from the Letterman deck is the mice. Now the mice, you can see the mouse here, he's chewing away on a piece of fabric of some sort and you could be allowing situations to be gnawing at you uh, worrisome situations uh, every little thing could be bothering you at the, during this week uh, and we all get those days but something could be eating away at you and you need to let that go and be a little bit more flexible uh, with the situation so that you don't get yourself all stressed out and filled with anxiety because anxiety and fear when we allow that to happen to us it literally uh it literally cripples us where we we feel as though we can't move forward we're paralyzed to go after our goals and and do it in a concise and and a good man in a good and happy way now some of you maybe need to watch things um uh keep things under lock and key and not privy to prying eyes or minds uh this is a card that says you may feel as though somebody's taking something away from you they're whittling away something they're stealing something from you that's your feeling this week so be careful keep things out of reach and out of sight from those that you don't want to have access to your to a situation now our information You've been given the balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is the full moon in Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces energy, um, but definitely maybe someone who has water in their sign. Um, you could be dealing with someone like that. But this, and we know that, that this is a card that says you could be balancing something now. Being more flexible, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, seeing a picture for what it is, and being aware of what you need to know. The, you know, you, this is a card that says go with the flow. Don't fight the current this week, okay? Um, you may be tapping into higher self. You may be tapping into spirituality more and being more practical about a situation in your life right now. Okay, starting off with your first row here, uh, with your tarot messages, you have been given the Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands is indicative of getting together with someone else, partnership in business, or in your personal life. But I do think that you're looking towards a new goal here, wanting to accomplish something and going the distance to receive it and get it. Putting in the work. Um, you could be planning a business trip or to go away somewhere to do some research, to connect with someone else. This could be getting together with a partner in in your personal life and discussing business with them or perhaps you're going to be bringing a partner into business with you. Some of this uh, card refers to taking a trip. You could be thinking about taking a trip um, you know, f uh, for pleasure or business to, to connect better with others. Sometimes this is you wishing and hoping for your future. You could be dealing with contracts and business agreements right now. You could be going through them. Know that this is a time of coming into your own. You're taking the steps to improve your career or your business and know that you're right on track. 
because as you move forward, you're making some great choices that are necessary and will and you'll be rewarded for them. Keep forging ahead and don't be discouraged by any temporary delays that show up on your path. Don't allow yourself to be deter don't allow yourself uh to and your goal to be determined by other people's opinions either, okay? I think negotiations at this time are going to go smoothly for a lot of you. Okay, you do have the Seven of Swords with this card coming in below it. And this is basically telling you to keep your eyes open. Beware of, uh, beware of you know, the wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, you know, stop what you're doing and thoroughly examine the truth in a situation. It's possible that your course of action has significant omissions or may be based on incorrect assumptions. Review your plans with an objective eye. Or maybe right now you need to consult an expert to help you identify any adjustments. You know, consider, uh, you know, you could be procrastinating and missing perfect timing right now, going after something that you really want. Consider that someone involved may have hidden agenda. Remember I said the wolf in sheep's clothing? I think that you may be thinking about Feeling as though you need to look over your shoulder. Pay attention to someone around you. There could be somebody coming in who's portraying to be your friend and they are there for ulterior, ulterior reasons and, and they have ulterior motives. Often this is a liar, the cheater, the thief. Uh, you know, this is what this card stands for. It stands for deception. Keep your eyes open. If you're bringing someone into your circle, a new friend or befriending somebody new in a group and an organization, a club you're involved in, or even a colleague at work. Uh, because they may not be completely truthful and only letting you see what they want you to see about them. Often they get caught. Often you get a tip. Often you find that out about this individual. And, uh, you know, they realize that they're not going to get away with this. Okay, coming in next, you have the Page of Pentacles. Good news coming in. You may need to call a truce and pull back on something here with the Four of Swords. With this Page of Pentacles, it's always good news. And often it has to do with the material part of your life and your uh, and your financial matters. You could be hearing good news about finances at this time. And I think that any plans you're making right now are going to move successfully forward at a steady pace. Some of you might be thinking about taking up something new, a new, a new interest, a new passion. Uh, you could even be thinking about taking um, some sort of a course uh, and a form of study to add to your resume to level you up into that next tax bracket of income. You're doing research. <clears throat> this is about staying curious and doing research or just balancing your money and thinking about how you can invest it or you can make the most out of a situation with it. You could be, as I said, uh, very focused on materialism right now and trying to achieve that goal of having those things that you want and that is acquired through your job, your career and possibly your income right now. Now with that comes in the Four of Swords and we know that the Four of Swords is indicative of pulling back, taking a time out and <clears throat> getting, excuse me, your rest. Some of you may need to take a vacation or just create a time to regroup and rejuvenate your plans right now, getting your energy back. Retreat. This is a time to pull back from the world and any stress or concerns that might be bothering you. If some of you have been physically ill, you need some time alone, okay? Focus upon healing and don't rush back into action or go back to work sooner than you should. Sometimes we need to go into a significant meditation so that we can reflect on that part of our life. And we will receive the answers we're seeking if we do that. But we need to know at this time when we receive this, it's time to call, call a truce and pull back. This is a card of needing more rest, more sleep. Uh, some of you might be experiencing some insomnia and maybe you're not sleeping as well as you could. Allowing more time before making a choice is also what this card means. Don't go rushing into anything. This is the end of a stressful period. Let go of that exhaustion and get the rest you need. You might be stressed out about money, but this page coming in is saying you shouldn't have to be. Look what you've got in the center position here. Absolutely amazing. The Wheel of Fortune. However, it comes in with the Four of Cups. 
And the Four of Cups says you could be feeling as though you're missing out on an opportunity, not getting what you thought you could, you deserved and what you wanted. But as you notice, it's always depicted with the hand of the divine, the powers that be saying, hey, keep your eyes open. You're not, you can't see the, the forest for the trees. You need to be looking right in front of you. You may have the resources right there to tap into, to go after your goals, your passion and your success. Uh, you know, be open to differences too. And and, and different situations or opportunities that could be present themselves. Wheel of Fortune says you're going to find your peace and happiness. You're able now to, <coughs> excuse me, to go forward after your goals. We love the Wheel of Fortune. It's your time. It's your time to succeed. It's your time to go after what you want and feel that energy coming in towards you. It's always a card of good luck. It's always a card that says, guess what? Things are starting to happen and go in the right direction for you. Success. The powers that be are telling you that there's positive changes that are going to occur in your life and expect to enjoy some beneficial new opportunities coming into you. This is a perfect time to make big or small changes right now, Taurus. Don't be afraid to step up there and take that leap with the knowledge that everything will work out well for you. This is a time where old blocks are lifting and everything now is going to move forward quickly. If there were some recent events that shook your, your faith and your world, you know how they were actually positive for you. You'll see that now. This is about rapid advancement. Great luck when we get this beautiful card. So jump on this wheel and ride it. This is a card of good luck and happiness and good karma. A twist of fate. This is your destiny, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus. <clears throat> coming in next and i'm sorry about my throat it's really dry today in here i'm trying to suck on a cough candy drink water and make this video and i keep clicking the pause button so if you notice there's breaks that's why but i want to do this for you so with the next center position you've got the queen of cups but you've also got the empress and the queen of cups is all about nurturing yourself she gives and gives and gives but she's coming to that point where she realizes that she needs to take time out for herself so don't be afraid to do that go after what it is you want but make sure that you're not spreading yourself or stretching yourself too thin by always being a yes person and giving to everyone else and forgetting your own needs. This is a time, Taurus, that you need to say, hey, I've been pushing myself, I've been doing everything I can for everybody else, but I need to take that moment and time on my own. Some of you might want to just book a, you know, a day off, a mental health day off. You may want to go to uh, and have a spa day and get your nails done or a facial or even a massage. If you've been avoiding doing that it's time for you to regroup recharge and rejuvenate your energy level and that means nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself as well some of you may be asked or have been uh, dealing with a family member or a friend that has needed you for a while and you've been helping them which is wonderful but you need to keep yourself a hundred percent and you know I always say physician heal thyself first so now we've got this beautiful Empress card right um, you you are able to move forward now. She's also a Midas touch card, like the King Cup, like the King of Pentacles. And so, anything you nurture right now and you give your loving attention to is going to move forward in a successful way and flourish. Sometimes she has to do with marriage and children and issues involving motherhood and creativity. Right now, are going to be affected. Whether you're trying to give birth to a child or nurture life into plants or pets or just a goal you're going for or help a new project or business to grow guess what? It's going to be successful. It's a great time. This is a card of success and moving forward. Beautiful things are going to be happening for some of you now. It's a card of abundance, but also it's a card that says you, some of you could be getting out there, spending more time in nature, and indulging yourself in some really good creative projects. Loving and nurturing yourself or others is so important at this time. And it is a card of excellent physical and emotional good health. So interesting that she would come in, the Empress, with underneath the Queen of Cups, which is also what you nurture is going to grow. Coming in next, we have the Page in your final row, the Page of Swords and also the Two of Cups. So there might be some changes to your plans. You could be hearing about some information that could be a bit challenging um, and you may have to concentrate on it. This could be a legal situ situation or just something that you, uh, something that you heard from and you've got this information mation that is going to make you move forward and and but you're going to have to think about it and take your time when you do 
this is a card that says you know don't allow yourself to get up in your head and worry about it you're going to figure this out and it's going to be okay new information that could create a delay that's all it is okay it's a new challenge some of you may have received some information in the form of a contract or an agreement that you have to read over and you didn't expect it was going to come in right now don't allow yourself to take things personally there could be some constructive criticism that is meant to help you okay again don't get caught up in anybody's gossip don't let other people's gossip penetrate uh your beautiful demeanor and what your goals are for you to do um they're telling me that you need to stay away from anybody that's bringing in information false information the two of cups comes in great card you could be getting together with somebody that you care for on a very beautiful and loving uh loving way this is uh this is a card of duality, right? This is a card of two people that's sharing a close relationship. It could be uh, your soulmate, a good friend, or it could be somebody, a new, a new fond friendship that's going to deepen, right? It could be a love affair that's moving to the next level of intimacy. But this is mutual love and respect and understanding. It's, it, you're developing this with another person. It's beautiful. Some of you may be healing through a troubled relationship. You're going to get through it. It's not the time to break it off or leave. This is a time. Now is a time to work on this relationship. And difficulties between this person or even other people are going to have a positive resolution. Any conflicts you've been involved in, they're going to end because I see forgiveness coming in. Beautiful. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus, this is your general reading for this week of December the 11th. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, positive, healthy and happy week. Always know that I send you lots of love and many blessings. And my beautiful Taurus, I'll see you soon.